Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Tiffany or Willie, Tiff, Willie, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on again and um, say I'm so excited for today's cloud pour in very specific colors, chosen by Miss Sarah Mack. Um, we actually decided that we were gonna take three, oh, we were each gonna choose three um, pigments from the This Little Piggy line and um, I picked hers because um, it's ones that I love. And then she picked three piggies for me that um, get me out of my comfort zone. I'm glad that she did that because I'm, I'm really excited about this palette. So um, again, thank you, Sarah, for this collab. And um, here come the colors. All right. So this little piggy. First off, she picked Rue. Just a copper interference. Love copper. Then she picked. Wait a sec. Can you see? Horizon. That's orange. Um, I don't. Yeah, that's Bowie squeaking the toy also because <laughs> she's in the studio with me today, so she has a tendency to steal the spotlight. Um, so yeah, this little piggy horizon, orange, not a color I ever go for. Bowie, shh. <laughs> I wish I could show you her face. And then the last piggy she um, picked for me is Syrah, which is like a deep um, Syrah, you know, Syrah. Shiraz, Shiraf wine color. So this one is amazing. Um, it's the first time I'm using it actually. So, wah, so excited. And then the other colors I put with it are Terracotta by Lucas. First time using it. And then I'm also putting a the Mauve with it by um, Lucas. And there is actually one other color. It is, it again is Lucas Moth, but I add a little um, paints gray to it. And then of course, Vallejo Pearl Medium for my cloud mix. All the mixes will be in the description box below. I'm gonna shut up and start painting. This is gonna be an 18 inch round um, MDF board and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hey guys, I guess I realized that, yeah, I need to kind of talk you through my colors, uh, how I layered in the cup. And I also wanted to show you my consistency. Um, all my consistency, bleh, consistencies are the same across the board. It's about a two to three second trace. I like thick, so I like thick paint. So therefore I do thick cloud pours. So yeah, and also too with my paints, I like to let them sit at least three days because I hate bubbles. I hate them. Um, and I think that with cloud pours, um, the cells are great, but when you get those air bubbles, too many in the white area, the cloudy area, it, it just bothers me. So I let my paint sit at least three days. Honestly, I could have let them sit another day um, as long as it takes to get rid of those bubbles. But anyway, first up is gonna be TLP Brulee. Next is going to be uh, TLP Syrah. Next is going to be the Maroon. Next is going to be my Cloud Mix, which in a second here, the Vallejo Pro Medium in its Artist Loft Soft Body, and then American Flow Troll. That's my Cloud Mix. Then I have um, Terracotta. And then I go back to Brulee. And then I'm gonna do some Horizon by this little piggy. some more cloud mix and honestly at this point I realized like anything past this cloud mix is probably gonna roll off this 18 inch round so I kind of 
wished I would have made my layers a little thinner at the bottom of the cup, but I don't know, maybe I was just too excited to paint with this color palette. Sarah did a really good job. She picked a great three, um, you know, piggies for me. Oh, and those last three colors, it was the maroon, and then it was the um, Syrah, and then that really dark uh, maroon with the um, Payne's Gray. But again, that rolls off, rolls off the canvas, so you don't even see that. So, and um, I'll just let you guys in on a thing. If, if you're new here, <laughs> if you're new here, hi, thanks, totally thanks for coming and, and checking this out. But I like to speed up my videos. So there'll be a lot of times because I, I tilt extremely slowly. Um, I spin slowly, especially when it's a bigger canvas. So a lot of that time, it'll be like sped up times two. There's a few times it's like sped up times eight. So um, like right here, like I'm gonna speed this up. And I just have to tell you, I think I added so much flow extender because, and I didn't need it, but <laughs> I did. But anyway, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna let you guys um, watch me pour this cup out and I will see you back in a little bit. And this is real time. So this is actually how slow I pour my cup out when it comes to these. All right, guys, I'll be back.
Hey guys, so thanks for hanging in with me if you did during that slow stretching, slow spinning session. Um, yeah, I, I, this video, this painting took me a while to do because I liked everything about it. That kind of sucks sometimes when you like everything about it and you know you have to tilt something off. So um, I loved it straight out of the cup. And the color palette, I mean, the, the piggies that Sarah picked, dude, just, she just, she, she told me, she said, I'm going to get you out of your comfort zone. And I was like, I knew you were going to do that, but okay, let's do it. And these colors, you know, funny enough, in my life, I love burgundies and golds and coppers and orange is not way up there, but certain tones of orange, I really do like, I mean, I, I own orange roller skates. Crazy. I know. Um, Anyway, she did an amazing job and I'm so grateful and um, yeah, I mean right now I'm just kind of tweaking this piece and just making sure I have enough, you know, paint off of the piece and I did spin it one more time before this um, close up, but uh, here we go. I love this whole section at the bottom. I love the cells I got. I love the color blocking. I love, love, love the orange veining right there that kind of goes around the outside of the painting. and. I, I would have lo loved to keep a little bit more, but I, I was kind of teetering on that line of, is there too much paint on this MDF board? But anyway, it goes around the outside, that horizon, and then right up there in the top, it kind of mixes with the, um, the brulee. And then I love that line of terracotta. I feel like it's just a nice breakup of the softness. But, um, and that's my, my, funny enough, my husband's favorite part, that orange halo around the outside. He's like, that's really cool. It's like, all right. But, um, super happy with the clouding. It's nice and translucent, but yet there's fluffiness. The one thing I would say about this piece is that, um, I wish I would have let the paint sit one more day. I totally could have. I was just antsy to paint. I was excited about this color palette, but I'm not a big fan of air bubbles in my in my clouding area. So, but that's just personal preference. <laughs> All those cells right there, my mother said reminded her of strawberry fluff. I had to go look up what that was. It's like a marshmallow fluff with strawberries mixed in. It's like this pink dessert. She probably ate as a kid. <laughs> So there is the brulee and it looks, it's an interference copper and it looks amazing dry. And there is the Syrah, this little piggy. But you guys, overall, I'm, I'm so excited with this piece. And um, I'll do a dried video of it in my shorts probably tomorrow. Or, well, probably Saturday. It'll be up on Saturday. But um, thanks again to Sarah. You know, I really love your work. I've followed you for a while. I was so excited when you asked me to do this collab. And I'm just so appreciative. And, oh, yeah, here's some... So uh, this is a, I think that's a dried image. So this next one is a dried image and then there's another dried image. But you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please like and subscribe and um, thanks again and uh, have a great day, guys. Bye.